Hi guys, uh, we will be looking at HIV today. So you need to be able to describe the structure of the HIV, explain how the HIV replicates, explain how the HIV causes AIDS, describe the treatments and control of AIDS, and explain why antibiotics are ineffective against viruses. So we will start with the spec as always. So where are we now for the spec? We are here. Okay, so make sure you have a look at this. And let's get started. So this is the structure of HIV. Okay, so let's start of the uh, really outside stuff. So we've got attachment proteins. Okay, attachment proteins are here to make sure that HIV can attach to the host cell. We've got a lipid envelope. We've got matrix. We've got reverse transcriptase enzyme which will be involved in the replication of HIV and genetic material RNA. Okay, so be really careful. Virus do not have DNA, they've got RNA. So, uh, core material, okay, core genetic material, it's RNA, as we've mentioned, and some proteins. Of course, enzyme is a protein, so make sure you, uh, you get on that. Uh, what else we've got here? Outer membrane. Okay, uh, outer uh, outer uh, uh, outer uh, coating of the protein here, not the membrane. Sorry, so the coating is a uh, called capsid. So what we've got out inside of the capsid, we've got RNA and we've got reverse transcriptase. Uh, we've got extra layer which is called the lipid envelope. So just right here. And this is made of membrane stolen from the host cell. So we will be looking at this in a few seconds. And uh, uh, sticking out from the envelope, of course, we've got those attachment proteins, which we've mentioned. They will help HIV to attach to the host helper T cell. So a, a helper T cell is a cell where uh, HIV will replicate. So... Uh, HIV is a retrovirus. Why do we call it a, re a retrovirus? Because of the fact that they've got reverse transcriptase enzyme. So what is reverse? As the term says, reverse transcriptase, it can make a DNA from RNA. So remember, virus has RNA, but thanks to reverse transcriptase, it can make DNA from RNA uh, in the host so, so this is why we call them retroviruses. Okay, so quick question here. We've got a diagram that shows some components of HIV, and we need to suggest which labeled component of the virus is most likely to act as an antigen. So remember, antigen is presented on the cell surface of the pathogen. So let's have a quick look at our diagram. Which of those common the component is most outside component, tada, it's a glycoprotein, okay? So the reason for this, it's the fact that uh, the uh, glycoprotein, okay, it's on the surface of the virus. So that's our answer, right? Typical question. Okay, so here we're looking at the replication of HIV. So we've mentioned that it's taking place in the host cell and the host cell, it's a T helper cell. So HIV, poor thing, cannot replicate on its own. Okay, it does not have uh, it does not have enzymes and ribosomes to to let them do such a process. So a uh, quick diagram here. So this is your HIV. This is a T helper cell. Okay, so let's have a look step by step what happens. So uh, following, of course, the infection, HIV will enter the bloodstream and will circulate. In our step number one, what will happen? The HIV, can we see the red thing and the blue thing? Good. So blue thing, what was that? Attachment protein, red thing, the receptors, CD, uh, four receptors on the T helper cells to be exact. So the attachment proteins will attach to the receptor CD4 protein on the membrane of the uh, host T helper cell. What happens next, as you can see, a clever thing virus just uh, in, uh, inserts the 
caps it, okay, with the reverse transcriptase and RNA. So that's really important step number two. The capsid is released into this uh, host cell with, uh, with the genetic material RNA and reverse transcriptase. So now, okay, we are inside of the T helper cell. What takes place, remember, we've got reverse transcriptase. That bluffing here, so reverse transcriptase, it's an enzyme that can make DNA from viruses RNA. So that's your number three step. Uh, we are making complementary DNA. Well, of course, this DNA, it's not ready yet. Why is it not ready yet? Because it's single stranded. So here, okay, we've got this uh, double strand of DNA, which was made complementary uh, double strand DNA. Of course, the same idea as you did the replication of DNA using the uh, DNA polymerase at this moment here. Okay, so the double stranded DNA now it's inserted into our T helper cell, right? So it's inserted. So, of course, if it's in, uh, inserted, now it can produce, uh, undergo the process of protein synthesis. So what happens here, okay, protein synthesis, so produces those blue things. What were they? They were attachment proteins, so we need plenty of them, don't we? Okay, and of course, we can produce, um, we can uh, produce uh, attachment proteins. We can, uh, we can uh, have our mRNA, which will uh, contain the instructions of how to make those uh, proteins. Okay, and the rest of the particles needed to remake the structure of HIV. So as you can see later on, here we've got our capsid reforms, we've got uh, RNA, we've got uh, reverse transcriptase, the blue dot, and we've got the pin, which was the attachment protein. So we've got everything ready to assemble our new virus particle. So as we say before, the structure the uh, the lipid envelope okay it's actually the part of our helper t cell because what is the cell of course the cell has a phospholipid bilayer around this and this lipid envelope it's actually taken from the t helper cell to make the uh, lipid envelope of the virus so they will boot okay from the cell and uh, go to infect another cell Right. So question, describe how HIV is replicated after it has entered a human cell for marker. So start with the key words. So we've got RNA, we've got reverse transcriptase, we've got DNA here. So make sure this is all in your answers. So reverse transcriptase, it's used, okay, to produce DNA from HIV RNA. Be careful, HIV RNA. Okay, DNA will be then joined to our T helper cells. DNA used to make uh, RNA, used to make capsid protein enzymes, okay, made at the host cell. Of course, protein synthesis is taking place on the ribosomes, so made at T helper cell, at the host cell's ribosomes. They will assembly the uh, new virus uh, particle booting off from the host cell's cell membrane to make a lipid envelope. And one more question. The deconstruction of T helper cell by HIV leads to death of an infected person. Explain why. So, of course, we are dealing here with uh, T cells. So, if they, they, they keep destroying T cells, we're not going to have enough of T helper cells so nothing will be there to activate B cells. So we are not going to produce any antibodies, okay? So we can't fight any infections or we can even lead to cancers, right? What is then a uh, latency period? It's the uh, time, okay, the initial in, uh, infection period and HIV can re uh, replicate rapidly, okay? And uh, later on, uh, after this HIV replication will drop to a really low level, which is called latency level. And uh, at this point, the person won't experience any symptoms. 
right so how does it actually